children's show host Tracy Knapp was shot and killed last night. That's correct! I'm gonna find out once and for all who shot Tracy Knapp. Yeah. Um, my name's my name's Josh, <clears throat> and I'm a big fan of your dad's. And um, I've got the microphone. I was hoping you can record a message from my answering machine. Maybe say about something like, "I shouldn't film in here." Did uh, you? Did you paint this? This is, I had to dabble a little bit. I draw sometimes, you know, but it's not. Yeah, That's know. great. Do you guys get this? It's. It's like a gladiator from long ago and stuff. I never it's would have thought you did this. drawing. It's fantasy art, but it's yeah. it's great. Yeah. And you completely captured your likeness there. That's that's not you, that's not me. That's that's it's a made up person. It's no. That's not. It's a gladiator. Jim. No. You really seriously don't think that looks like you? No. Who's that guy with long curly blonde hair, with fighting it's the long dragon? Hair, hair and it's not me. It's, uh, Is that that girl, from the street, the one that was calling at us? The one today? No. Oh. Yeah, the one that had tattoos that looked exactly like Can that. Can we just go? This is not. All right, no, all right. I'm just giving dad, you a hard okay. time. I love this your paintings. Pertain. They're great. Let's go back to the interview. Actually, Jim, I think that this painting does pertain a little bit to your dad. I don't see. We got like a gladiator and a dragon, and uh, all right, yeah. He's killing the dragon, and the dragon has a big blonde afro and a blonde mustache. <laughs> I mean, that's that's kind of strange for a dragon to have. You know, kind of. I. Uh... Just a I'm not up. suggesting anything. I'm just, it's I just was a made up situation. Just uh, right now, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> in no way am I suggesting. You know, it's just fun. I did not come here to suggest in any way that you shot your dad. But just in case, I decided it was time to narrow my focus a touch and get to know Jim Knapp a little better. I mean, sure, Jim didn't exactly match Christopher Matson's description. This, uh, this big motherfucker. And he was attending college in Boston at the time of his father's death in Michigan. Still, something in my gut told me I needed to find out what else Jim Knapp was hiding behind closed doors. Because if I overlooked the possibility that Tracy Knapp was killed by his only son, well, I would hate myself as a person. And even more as a filmmaker. I know Jim from uh, college. We were roommates. We were roommates for months uh, before I even found out who his dad was. I think that you want how I found out is uh, his dad, Tracy, you know, came down to uh, the fraternity where Jim and I were pledging to surprise him for his birthday. Well, everybody just went nuts. Everyone in the fraternity house, of course, grew up with Tracy, loved him, made him their honorary mascot. He probably still is to this day. They accepted Jim in the fraternity on the spot dubbed him Little Tracy, which apparently was some sort of mistake or something, because it just set him off. He gets all pissed off and storms out. Do you remember where Jim spent Thanksgiving the year his father died? Jim said he was going to his mom's place for Thanksgiving in San Francisco, which I thought was a little odd, because uh, the only person he seemed to hate more than his dad was uh, was his mom. Are you Tess? Yeah. Uh, you know, between my father dying and Tracy dying, I was left with quite a bit of money in the 90s. But you know what they say about money. Can't buy love. It doesn't last forever. So I got back into clown. Oh, it's great. Now I admit, I may not be the first female clown stripper, but one thing's for sure. I'm the oldest. <laughs> it's a penis hat. <laughs> Who's the groom? The groom gets the penis hat. Get it, get it! 
Okay, this is how it works. Well, don't forget that. It's your new best friend. It's a poodle. <laughs> That's cute, huh? This is for the kids. I do this for the kids. You wanna smell my flower? <laughs> You must miss your husband so much. Which one? 